Hi, I'm Andreas and in this Nexperia video series we will explain everything about ESD protection. One of the most important questions dealing with ESD devices is how to choose the right ESD protection device. There are plenty of factors that must be considered. First, ask yourself how many signal lines do you need to protect and what is the available PCB space. You can then decide for a single, dual or multiple line package. With packages, you must know which quality profile you need. For example, in automotive, leaded and leadless packages are possible. For leadless version, side wettable flanks for OE may be required. After the exterior, let's take a look on the interior. Here, working and breakdown voltages, device capacitance, as well as the ESD robustness itself are the main parameters. For system level protection, you must compare the clamping voltages, which should be as low as possible in your specific application. Also, surge robustness can be important, though this depends on the application. Finally, you can do a quality check and compare the charts like TLP graph or capacitance over voltage. Check out the Nexperia parametric search to get a feeling for parameter comparison. Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to learn more, write your questions in the comments below. Visit nexperia.com and check out our ESD application handbook. In the next video, we will answer the question, what is the difference between the standard voltage and the breakdown voltage? Thanks for watching.